Okay, that was a little demo of how you can use this curveball for a clean channel just by patching it into the sidetrack of one of our pedals that have the sidetrack loop. In this case, I'm using the Big Rock Pro. And I'm driving this straight into the power amp of a 5150. And that's going right into the effects return. So it's it's got a lot of gain, so I have to turn this pretty low to get it to not blast me out of my tiny office. But anyway, uh, from here on, I'll just show you some of the different things you can get out of the curveball as far as clean tones go. I'm playing my... Uh, Santana SE, PRS SE, through this, and uh, so just the here's just the middle sound. Here's the what the amp sounds like, and you can see it's just kind of dark sound and kind of booming. If I turn this on, obviously that's a much more what you expect out of a clean tone and if you're using these pedals as preamps that's a nice addition to be able to kick that on okay i'm going to retune right quick because i can't think of anything else to play in drop d clean and i'll be right back okay i'm back by the miracles of video trickery now, um, I have this set on the U.S. setting right now. I'm going to show you how to get like a... I had it purposely set tighter because I thought it sounded more like, you know, Kurt Cobain type Strat sound, even though I'm using this humbucker. So that's pretty neat that you can, you know, crank the highs up and get that bright of a tone out of a humbucker guitar. But anyway, let me just show you. Say you want to get like a Beatles sound. You definitely want to go with the tight because the the uh, the Vox amps tend to have a uh, less low end in the front end of the amp. And then flip this to UK. When you the way those amps work, when you turn the bass up, the mid automatically turned down some. More. So I'm going to go to the middle pickup sound. See what this sounds like. song goes you got the point so i couldn't help but sing it's almost christmas and i thought man i sure would like to go see the beatles but i can't so i'll just have to play a little bit of it so just to give you an idea of the starting point on this i'm going to go back to fat straight up okay doesn't matter whether she what the mid is set on here volume so I can cut the so I can turn the volume down a little bit as I do these tweaks so if you want like a bluesy a jazzier sound you can do this kind of thing That's a nice little fat tone right there. You know, I labeled this US, UK, and Thrash, and the reason is because the Thrash is the setting from our metal pedal, which a lot of guys will use this type pedal to get that EQ curve. But really, it's just three different mid frequencies. You don't have to think of it as being thrashier 
and I'll show you what those sound like. Cut the mids a lot. Here's the US. Sorry for that chord. It's a lower. Here's the UK, which is up higher. And then thrash. Those two are pretty close together. You can hear it big time though when you're going through distortion. So go back to UK and I'll get back here in the middle somewhere. Now listen to the tight switch. Here's fat, which is just basically flat. It's got a tiny bit of roll off to it. And I'm using the neck pickup right now. Tight. So for the fenderiest, you go to US, fat, you know, and maybe turn the highs up a little bit like that. Of course, I, I mean, I could pull out a strap, but here I'll just turn my bass down on my guitar. That's a little bass roll off on my guitar that I use to get straightier sounds. Okay, now of course the other thing you can do with this is, um, which may not be as important when you're using it this way, since I have it in this loop, I can lock this on, and now I've got a side boost here, so if I change guitars, I can kick it up to the higher level. So between songs, I've got, of course this is distorted, so it's not gonna, you know, change that much between guitars. But when I go to my clean sound, I can set it for two different guitars that way. Locked on with that. For the wimpier guitar, do that so you get the same, you know, the same basic level for your clean sounds. or if you have drummer like I've always played with, you end up hit turning this on and leaving it that way the rest of the night so you can hear. So anyway, that's the name of that tune. Curveball. It's not just an EQ. It's also a clean preamp. It's also a clean boost with EQ. And it also has two boosts in the mode there. Um, the last thing I'll show you is you can get a kind of a parked wah sound out of this by turning the mids all the way up. Like this. I'm going to turn the volume down because it's pretty hot. Too low. Here's the three different frequencies. nice one so if you were driving this in front of a high gain amp you could use that and come in with some of it to get a little bit of, of that tone so here's the three different frequencies here's the US one turn it down just a little UK Thrash 